What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, in today's video, we are going to take a look at a handful of GPUs that I've purchased recently. So during the dip or the low or the bear market, whatever you want to call this time period where mining profits are low and crypto prices are low, what am I doing? I'm doubling down and I'm buying more graphics cards and I'm kind of gambling that the market will rebound and that everything will go back up. Before we jump in and take a look at what I've purchased, leave a comment down below. Are you guys buying graphics cards? Are you selling your rigs because of the current cost of electricity? What are you doing? Are you hodling your coins? Are you cashing them in? I'd love to get your perspective. As of right now, uh, at the beginning of June, what are you doing currently in your situation? I'd love to hear it and why. And I'll try to comment on it as many as I can. So let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what I picked up recently. Okay guys, so I picked up a handful of different graphics cards. Um, from here down to here are all open box from Newegg. Those just boxes I already opened, so I don't have the Newegg box to show off. Uh, and these down here are off of Facebook Marketplace, so we'll talk about those in a minute. But these that you see are all Newegg open box. So if you actually go on Google and you search for Newegg open box, you should be able to go ahead and find yourself um, it's same looking store that Newegg traditionally has, but they're all open box, which means they've been purchased and then returned. And so um, I'm going to go ahead, I want to open these, and then I want to test them on my test bench over here to make sure they work right before we go ahead and continue using them. Right now on the test bench, I have an RX 6500 XT. This is a GPU that I bought months and months and months ago and had sitting in a box for the longest time. And I finally decided to break it out and start talking with HiveOS about it again. And lo and behold, there's HiveOS support for it. It's actually like a beta version. They haven't released it yet, but I've been testing it for HiveOS. And I'm going to have a future video in a few weeks talking about this. Don't write it off for the price and the performance and the efficiency, which is a big one. Uh, you'd be pretty surprised. Now, granted, not saying run out and buy yourselves a whole bunch of 6500s, but if you do come across one, so anyways, I'll talk about it in a future video. Keep an eye out for that with the 6500 XT. So let's go ahead here. Um, where should we start? Should we start with this one here? Let's start with the big one, I guess. And this is actually the one I am most excited for. Uh, I've already opened the box to this point, but I want to show you guys this. You ready? Okay. So you open the box. You see what, who we got here. Hey, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> All right, so you open the box and you see Asus in search of incredible. Now, this is an older style box. I got this far and I went, hmm, I'm going to save this for the video. So let's take a look at this because I'm already concerned. Okay, so it looks like the right card so far, but in the wrong box entirely. At least it's taped. Actually, here, let's look. Can we see it? This is a Gigabyte 1070. So this is exactly what I ordered. I'm just surprised it's in an Asus box with, like, nothing else. <laughs> uh, let me get this opened up real quick because I am not Red Panda. I cannot do this single-handedly. Okay, here she is. This is a Gigabyte. Wow, that was the worst fan spin ever. Uh, gigabyte. 3070. This is my first one. I've actually never had a 3070. Um, so I'm really excited about this. We got this open box off of Newegg for $5.99. This was up there for like a day and then sold out entirely. I check Newegg open box every single day um, just to go ahead and see what they have and see what prices are going for. So $5.99 for a 3070. I had to chase after it. So this is one that we do want to go ahead and put into our rig. Look at that. They look identical except for, of course, the thickness here. And this takes a eight pin and six pin, 6,500, just one six pin. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. We absolutely need to test that. By the way, if you're wondering back here, these are old cards that don't work anymore, uh, but look good on camera. R9 380X, R9 380X, and a 
uh, R9 270 uh, back there. Okay, let's take a look at our next one here. Hopefully it's in the proper box. Uh, I've never seen that where it comes in a totally different branded box. Let's see what we got in here. Oh yeah. All right, so we actually have two of these. One's here. This is the Power Color Fighter RX 6600. We have a second one right here that we bought. I got each of these separate dates. I found these on New Egg Open Box for $2.99 each. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to pick these up. So I'm excited to go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, both of them, actually. I need to look at them and open them up. Look how small this is. <laughs> this is so cheaply made, too. Oh my gosh. There's like nothing to this. So this is the Power Color RX 6600. It's an eight gigabyte there. And there's just like nothing to it. There's like, it's just <laughs> these little fans. But hey, you know what? $2.99. I am not complaining. So we're going to test this out. This should ideally give us about 28 mega hash with the proper overclock settings. I've actually seen more recently some people actually being able to get 29, mid 29. Uh, so we'll have to see how we make out there. Uh, we might as well open this one up while we're at it. Here, we'll put this down. Since it's already cut, we don't have to do so much. All right. Throwing you guys around. Looks good. Don't see any crazy issues. No major problems, which is good. Awesome. All right, so there's that one. All right, let's take a look at our other one here. What do we have? And it's uh, another Hellhound. Heck yeah. So the Hellhounds here, uh, we got for a little bit more, uh, two of these. Uh, these I ended up picking up for three nineteen dollars uh, off of um, Newegg Open Box. Can we do it? The one-handed one -handed tape cut. I don't know that I'm as talented as some of these other guys doing this. I think I'm going to cut my finger. I think we got it. We got it. Nice. Okay. These I love. They look awesome. Here, we'll put the camera down. No editing here. We're just going to run with it. How's that sound? Let's take a look. So I've always enjoyed these because there's not a ton to them. Um, the, you know, a really massive heat sink on it, which is really, really nice. Um, the exoskeleton is exactly what you expect with the shroud, decent as well. Um, and they actually have some weight to them, which is convenient. And this card looks good, not seeing any major problems with it. Uh, these are eight pin as well. And uh, yeah, so there's a 6600. Let's take a look at the other one. Okay, let's open this up. Tape is actually already cut, which is good. So this one looks good. Let's see here, pick up the camera. I'm not seeing any major problems. You know, we got all of our screws that are on, uh, the little stickers on, which is good. Oh, I didn't realize there's a little LED switch right here. You could turn off the LEDs, even though I like them. They look good. It's like that blue, that blue look to it. All right, let's get this reboxed. Nice that none of them are bent. I've seen, um, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, Red Fox Crypto. He's had some that are a little questionable, to say the least. Uh, I know he buys a ton of open box ones, though. Um, so he is gets a far more than I do. Okay, so that is these here. So 6600, 6600, 6600, 6600, and then R3070. So if you guys are noticing, we have quite a trend here of efficient GPUs. Um, now, granted, efficient on Ethereum. Uh, my goal is, is with these, is to put all the 6600s uh, after, let's say, like, proof of stake happens tomorrow. I would put all my 6600s on uh, Ergo. That's what I'm planning for. I have a 12 GPU rig. I'm going to put that whole thing on Ergo as well. The 3070, most likely, if it happened tomorrow, I'd put it on Flux uh, at this point, if you guys are curious. Okay, so what else do we have here? So, um, if you guys... I've been following the YouTube channel. I like to post in the community tab some GPUs that I 
pick up and uh, kind of let you guys guess as to what they are. So this here, I found locally and I had to pick it up. So this is an RX 580 four gig. The reason, and it looks in really good condition only because I clean the hell out of this thing. Uh, I picked it up because it was on sale for 75 bucks. And I was like, ugh, I have to pick it up. I love the RX series cards, I love the Polaris cards. Um, so this one here, I cleaned, and then I went ahead and repasted and padded, you can actually see. Um, and you see this here, it's like a double pad look. That's two three millimeter pads. It actually gets a six millimeter pad in there, which is crazy, right? And then this one over here is three millimeter, the one other, the rest are 1.5. So I went crazy looking online for these armor cards. If you guys remember a while ago, I got a handful of the 570 armor editions. And uh, I finally figured out why they kept overheating because they require a six millimeter pad right here. And it's because of the heat sink. Look at the heat sink design. You see how, like, imagine if you remove that thermal pad, the, the six millimeters worth. It's just a giant gap. So yes, RX 470. Um, I'm sorry, RX 580, four gigabyte. This I'm going to be putting um, on Ergo. And I was like, hell yeah, let's pick this sucker up. So we got this guy. So finally, we have my favorite 1660 series, and these are the 1660 Ti's. And these are awesome. Eight pin, the MSI 7s, um, the Gamer X's, and these are the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. And I love these. These are awesome. They look really good with the RGB and they run fantastic. Now, I have gone ahead and plugged in and tested these already. I don't have a rig for them yet, but I'm hoping to in the next week here or so. Um, now you can see all of these still have the original stickers, different, different um, sellers. Um, so I will go ahead and one of the things I do, and if you guys don't already do this, I highly recommend it. Any pre-owned graphics cards that are a few years old and such, go ahead, crack them open, clean them, repaste and repad them before you start mining with them. Once you get them in, go ahead and test them. Make sure they work just to put your mind at ease but then go ahead and I always recommend you do it. It's always nice to start them off knowing that they're fully pasted, fully padded, so they're running the coolest from day one, even if they look like great condition like these do. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna pull out our 6500 XT and we're gonna start down here and we're gonna get each of these plugged in real quick. Bam, 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 bam. And we're just gonna test them out. So let's start out with our RX 6600, our first one, and get it plugged into Hive OS. Okay, first 6600 is in our test bench. By the way, if you guys are interested, this is the Thermaltake uh, P3. I'll put a link down below to it. I love this test bench. You can fully customize these things. Um, they really fit any motherboard. So I got a motherboard in there with a 650 watt power supply. And then I actually have Hive OS on one solid state and then Windows on another. And I just swap out the SATA as I need to. Uh, this is actually a, a voltage meter from uh, Mad Electron, another uh, content creator built this and sent this to me, plugged in. I know that this rig without a GPU uses 30 watts, so I always go ahead and remove it. And then look, I put a little Govi here for just the temperature right here, and bam, this thing works awesome. So let's go ahead and turn it on, and off to the races we go. And let's jump over to Hive OS and uh, check it out, make sure it works. GPU number one we have up and running tested is working well, which is awesome. Uh, this is the uh, those really small, really basic power colors. It's Hynix memory, but that's okay. We're still doing well. We talked about earlier with our settings almost hitting, you know, we're hitting 29. Look at that 29.23 on this first one here it says 47 watts in the software, which in reality, if I'm taking a look at my voltage meter, it says about 92 ish. Minus 30 puts us in the 60s, which is rather accurate there. Uh, but yeah, there we have it. 29.24 on our 6600. Let's jump to our second power color. GPU number two is in. It's our 6600, our power color. It looks like it's Hynix as well. It's getting around the same mega hash, 29.25, which is awesome. I can't wait until these get, the if, if, if they get a little bit more efficient with a little bit better drivers, we can get 30 mega hash on these. That would be phenomenal. But for the watts, I can't complain, right around the same amount there. Let's jump on now to our first Hellhound. Let's see how that does. Our first Hellhound is looking great. We're at 29 mega hash as well, a little bit less than those other ones there, uh, but it, I could just need to configure these a little bit differently. This is Micron memory. 
Um, so I may need to look at adjusting some of these settings in order to, you know, my last ones were more focused on Hynix, but regardless, third GPU up and running, 29 mega hash, everything is looking awesome. Let's jump on to our second Hellhound and see how that does. Okay, our third GPU is up and working, which is awesome. So far, we're three for three. Let's keep it going. So these are the Power Color Hellhounds. These are actually Micron memory. So my overclock settings that I have in place here uh, haven't changed since the Hynix memory ones. I'll probably actually keep it, based off of some of my research, the Hynix and Microns share just about the same memory. I, I can adjust it a little bit if I need to. Uh, but I think this will do the trick. We're over 29 mega hash now, so I'll take that victory. Let's move on to our fourth GPU, which is the second Hellhound. Our fourth 6600, and we are off to the races. We're on micron memory as well. It looks like that's shared with these Hellhounds. Same mega hash, 29.15, and awesome. So we're four for four. So now let's move on to the one I've been most eager to get into, and that is the 3070. Once again, this is my first 3070. Bear with me here, guys. I started about a year and, I don't know, 10 months ago and uh, mining, and I started on, remember, MSI 970s. And look at us today. We bought our first 3070. I'm excited. Anyways, let's go ahead and get that set up, and let's see how that does. All right, so our 3070 is set up and good to go. Uh, this one, we're actually running on MB Miner here, and uh, you can see we have Samsung memory. And we are at 62.20 mega hash. Oh, I love that LHR unlock. In the software, we're at 121 watts. When I look at my voltage meter, we're at 155 minus that 30. So we're right about there, uh, a little bit more. About, you know, we're about 125 watts uh, total, actually, uh, if we go ahead and calculate that out. But yes, so there's our first 3070. Super hyped, glad that we are five for five with our Newegg open box GPUs. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna wrap things up for today. I am super excited to get my hands on a number of new GPUs. It feels like Christmas all over again. I'd love to know, leave a comment down below as we talked about at the top of the video. Are you buying GPUs right now during the low market? Are you selling off? Are your electrical costs going through the roof and you're shutting down? What is your current strategy right now in June of 2022? I'd love to go ahead and hear from you guys, and I'll try to comment on as many as I can down below. My game plan over the next few weeks is to get these cards into a handful of builds. I have some new server cases that I've gotten in, as well as some open air rigs that I want to go ahead and build and add these into. So I'm excited to expand my farm even farther during the current market. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel immensely. And finally, if you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and click that subscribe button to be notified when I drop my next video. Until next time, guys, take care.